so now to understand this agent and the agent pool practically we will navigate to the dev.azure.com and then you can go to the one organization so you can go if you already have the one account at the dev.azure.com and if you have created one organization in the dev.azure.com if you don't have the account then you can watch my other videos to create a new account at the dev.azure.com freely in this playlist and then how we can create your organization when you are first time going to log into the dev.azure.com okay. so you will get uh, the steps in this playlist and before going to start the demo session I have the one request please like share and subscribe my channel and watch this video completely to understand the agent and the agent pool okay. so now I am on the home page of the organization under the Azure DevOps now I will go to the one project which I have created under the this organization so I will go to the project under this project I will go to the pipeline sections and I have created and run few pipelines so to understand the agent and the agent pool I am going to edit one pipeline so I will edit some pipeline after that under the tasks sections the pipeline is there so on the right side you can see the agent pool this is the agent pool and this is the Azure pipeline so this is the default agent pool which is offered by the Microsoft in the Azure DevOps this agent pool is this you can see the group of the agents or the group of the virtual machines which is provided by the Microsoft so that we can run and the deploy this pipeline on the different type of the machines now these are the agent specifications so type of the agent windows agent ubuntu so you can choose wherever you want to run your script and the deploy your applications windows microsoft windows and the microsoft windows latest so these are the agents and when we are creating the local agents so suppose this is a local so this agent pool is created by me now how we can create the agent and the agent pool newly so for that you can go to the organization setting <coughs> under the organization you have the pipeline section and the agent pool is there so you can click on the agent pools so you will get all the pool which I have created or the already created agent the all the information you will get under the agent pool okay so this is the Azure pipeline agent pool this is the default pool okay and this is the default pool agent is my laptop this is my laptop which I configured the default pool agent as the self hosted agent we will start with the new one so to create an agent pool you can see the agent pool button is there on the right top corner so you can click on the agent pool now select the type of the agent so I have discussed that there are two type of the agent Azure virtual machine and the self hosted Azure virtual machine you can also create and self hosted also create so now I will choose the self hosted agent so you can select this option name demo agent pool and the permis pipeline permissions grant permissions to all pipelines so that under all the pipelines you can see this agent pool so now create now you can see the demo agent is there already created now click on this demo agent pool and there is no job is running and then let's talk see the agents so there is no agent so I want to create a new agent so just click on the new agent now you can get the agent so you need to download the agent so if you are working with the windows machine you can download the agent for the windows machine or if you are working with the Macintox then you can download the agent for the Macintox machine if you are working with the Linux you can download the 
agent for the Linux machine. And these are the steps how we can configure. As of now, I am working with the Windows machine. So I will configure the Windows machine agent. So for that, I am going to download the agent. So just click on the download button. And on your local system, you can see the zip file will start downloading. Okay, so once the download is completed, you can go to the download folder and copy this zip file and you can create a folder on your drive and there you can paste this agent from where we are going to run and the configure this agent with the Azure DevOps. Next step is extract this zip file. So you can extract. After the extract is completed, you can get the bin folder and the external and the main file is the config.cmd and run.cmd. Okay, so if you want to check the steps, you can see the steps on this window. So create the agent. You can go to the agent folder, all types of the agent. Then you can run the config.cmd. Configure the agent. So you run the config.cmd. To start the agent, you can run the run.cmd file. Now just double click on config.cmd. So here it will ask you few informations that you need to provide when you first time going to configure the agent. So the first is the server URL. Okay. So the server URL is your this URL. So dare.azure.com slash till your organization. So you can select this URL and paste it here. So dev.azure.com slash your organization then enter. Enter the authentication type press enter for the personal access token. So enter then enter the personal access token. Now how to get the personal access token. So again you can go to your dev.azure.com account and there you can see that user is there. Okay under this near this user you can see the user setting is there one icon so user setting then you can see the personal access token so you click on this personal access token you can create a new token so you can create a pet token and organization for this organization expiring the 30 days and now you can define the scope for this token. So you can say the full access. I need the full access for this one. Or if you want to choose the custom access, so you can select. You want to build, read and write, read, write everything. So best option is the full access. Then create the token. After that, you copy this token and again go to the command prompt and paste it here then enter register the agent enter agent pool press enter for default now you want to create the you want to enter the agent pool name okay so what was the agent pool name you can go to your agent pool and under which agent pool you want to run so I want to run under this agent pool. Okay, so you select the agent pool name and go to command probe and enter. Enter agent name. So I want to enter the agent name. So I want to make my laptop as an agent under this agent pool. So just simply enter. Scanning for the tool capabilities will check the proper capabilities like the operating system hard disk RAM all the installed software so all the valid verification of the capability it will done to create a agent now it's connecting to the server so you can see the successfully added the agent testing agent connections 
enter work folder press enter for work settings saved enter run agent as a service press enter for no run agent as a service no enter configure auto login and run agent for the startup now okay now you can refresh this page of the agent pool and then i go to the agent section now i can see the one agent is added under the agent pool but still it's showing the offline because it's not the online so to make this online this agent what you can do again you can go to the folder of the agents where you have extract the agent zip file and you see the run.cmd now next are you running the run.cmd file to make this agent online Connecting to the server, listening for the jobs. Now again go to this agent pool and check the agent. So now you can see this agent is online. Okay. So now one self-hosted agent is added under the agent pool. So this is called the self-hosted agent. You can click on this agent and you can check the capabilities. So agent name, the laptop machine version, everything you can see. Okay, the details, capabilities. So these are the capabilities. It will create to connect this machine as a self-hosted agent. Now, how to check? Again, these are available for the pipeline. So again, we will go to the organization, go to the project, go to the pipelines, and edit the already available some pipelines. If you don't know how to create the pipelines, you can refer the another video in this playlist to create the pipeline sections. Go to the pipeline, agent pool, drop down, you can see the demo agent pool. Now you can see the agent pool. I will summarize the steps. What you can do first, you need to have the one account of the dev.azure.com. Once you have the account, then you can create one organization. Okay. Then you can create a one test project under the test project. You can go to the organization setting and you need to agent pool. You can add a pool and once you added the pool, you need to add one agent. So you can create a new agent and you need to download and configure the agent. How we I am showing this agent yeah. and then you can create a pipeline and check the agent pool is available under the pipeline section or not. If you want to delete this agent, you can see the on the this right side option, the delete agent. So you can delete the agent by selecting the agent. Are you sure want to delete this agent? So you can say delete the agent. Okay. So when this agent pool don't have any agent so in this case when this agent pool don't have any agent you can see there is no agent available for this demo pool so if you select this one it is already showing there is no agent okay so like that you can work with the agents <music>